to all the listeners and welcome to the radio lessons. I am Sede from Jojina Primary School in Thimpo. This program is to reach to all the children across the nation. Today's lesson is lesson number 4 from volume 3 of the self-instructional material. I have a lesson here for class 1, an English lesson for class 1, and the topic for today is prepositions. By the end of this lesson you'll be able to say in on and under looking at the pictures so what are these words in on under they are prepositions they show position of of objects and the other objective for today's lesson is you'll be able to match the word and the picture so what are the words the key words are in on and under okay let's go to activity 1 let's look at the picture what do you see there is a table and what's on the table there is an apple and what's under the table there is a bag and what's in the bag there are some books in the bag so that's about the picture now let's read the sentences so question 1 says where is the apple so look at the picture where is the apple and the answer is already been given it says let's read it together the apple is on the table do you see that the word on has been written in a different color in blue so you have to remember this key word this is a preposition It is showing the position of the apple. Where is it? On on the table. Let's read question number 2. Where is the book? Where is the book? The book is in the bag. Do you see the word in? It has been written in blue. It's in a different color. So that's another preposition. It is showing the position of the book. Where is it? It's in the bag. Let's read question number 3. Where is the bag? Where is the bag? The bag is under the table. Where is the bag? Under. Do you see the word under has been written in a different color in the, in blue? So that's another preposition. It is showing the position of the bag. Where is the bag? Under the table. Now look below the box. The instruction says look at the picture and write. So we are going to use the pictures to answer the questions. Are you ready? So let's read question number 1. Where is the cat? All right, let's look at the picture. Can you tell me where is the cat? Is it under the table? Hmm, no, it isn't. Is it in the box? Uh-uh, it's not. So where is the cat? the cat is on the table so do you see that blank that line you have to write the cat is on the table all right let's look at question number 2 where is the dog look at the picture and can you tell me where is the dog the dog is under the table right what is the dog doing He is sleeping, right? It is sleeping. Anyways, um where is the dog? The dog is under the table. So you have to write that answer in the blank, okay? In that long line that's been written for you. So write your answer there. Let's look at the third question. Where is the boy? All right? Look at the picture. Where is the boy? Do you see the boy? 
probably he's hide, playing hide and seek, right? Where's the boy? He's in the box. So you have to write the answer. The boy is in the box. So can you do that? Can you write it in the line given below? Okay, well done. Okay, now let's turn the page and let's look at activity two. The instruction says, look at the picture and match. So we have on one side, on your left, you have the words, the key prep words for the key words, right? The prepositions that we are learning. And on the right, you have the pictures that show the preposition, right? So, first of all, let's read the words. What's the first word that you have here? Under. What's that word? Under. What's the second word? On. What is it? On. And then the last word is in. What is it? In. Now let's look at the picture. What do you see in all three pictures? That's right, you can see a cat. I don't think they are the same cat, but um, there's a cat in each picture. So let's talk about where the cat is. Okay, so where's the cat in the first picture? It's on the wall. Where is the cat in the second picture? It's in the bucket. Where is the third where is the cat in the third picture? It's under the umbrella. So looking at these cats and their position, can you match the word and the picture? Yes, you can. I know you can. Now let's go to activity three. The instruction says read and draw. So we have to read the sentence and there's a space provided. So we're going to draw pictures there. The first one is done for you. How lucky for you, right? The first one, the example has been given. So in the first box, let's read the sentence. The bird is on the elephant. Let's read it again. The bird is on the elephant. And do you see the picture? There's a big elephant. And on top of the big elephant, there's a little blue bird. So where is the bird? The bird is on the elephant. Let's, let me read the other sentences. The next one says, the cat is on the table. So what are you going to draw? The cat is on on the table all right and then the third sentence the flower is in the pot the flower is in the pot so do you see the space in that space you have to draw some flowers in in a pot and then the final sentence says the cow is under the tree what is that animal the cow right what sound does a cow make it moves, right? It moves. Can you hear that? It moves. So the cow is under the tree. So can you draw that? Yes, you can. So what are the three keywords that we learned today? What are the three prepositions that we learned today? They are in. Can you all put your hand in your pocket? Yes, in. What's the next word? On. Can you all put your finger on your nose, on, right, on. And then the final word was under. Can you all put your hand under your thighs, under your thighs. So the key words for today were in, on, and under. So thank you very much for listening and see you in the next lessons. Until then, be good and stay safe. Thank you.